time. They're always too full. This shit fills up too fast. There it is. My little, my little notification. BAM! <laughs> oh shit, we're back with one of these fucking G-sticks. We're going deep tonight. A hybrid. We're here in the studio. My man, man, the flying Jew, Becky LaRue. Who the fuck you think you're dealing with on a Monday night? There ain't no Monday night football. You might as well hang out with Flavor. What am I going to do? I can't. This thing is all stuck in here. This thing is so fucking gooey. I, I thought I was dropping the plastic yesterday. Getting the G-stick ready Monday night. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're sitting there like a fucking Mook LaRook. Uncle Joey here. Ready to rock. Listen to a little funny All-Stars. Getting the Spanish fucking jeans flowing, you know what I'm saying? Becky got those little fingers and shit. We're gonna spark, spark a little Dubois here, and then we're gonna start the podcast. Yeah, you gotta get it with a fucking pen or something. So, how many pounds did you lose, Becky? 30. 30 fucking pounds. Yeah. I thought you. I thought you. I, I didn't know you all. It looked like you altered that picture. It's a goof. Oh shit. Look how. Get, oh yeah. Look at your fingers. Are you kidding me? I felt the sticky. Right. Just got in my bloodstream. Oh shit. And I got some other reefers and other products in the bag. Don't worry about nothing. We'll be fucking seeing the devil by the end of it. I was fucked up last night. I'm one of those punch drunk bars. Tomorrow I'm picking up the shipment of the stars of death. We're back, Lee. Wait till the funeral parlor smells this. <laughs> They dipped in an embalming fluid. You ever smoke a joint dipped in embalming fluid? That's a long fucking night right there, huh? Wait, what? You actually did that? Fuck yeah. I was joking. Nah. What do you think that sticky shit is? What do you think that sticky shit is? That's embalming fluid with fucking Cuban blood and shit they got from the sailors. I literally, I thought it was liquid acid. It probably is liquid acid. I got some acid in my wallet. I brought it back to me. Are you fucking kidding me or what? Paula's doing Zumba. She really likes it. Are you fucking people? What else are you gonna do? You might as well smoke a number with Uncle Joey. Lee, we're doing our thing. Listen to fucking Spanish music and shit. Putting the pieces together. Getting that DNA flowing from the islands. Listen to the flute of death. That's a Jew on the flute. Nah, it's Johnny Pacheco and shit. <laughs> Looks like Grandpa's fingers. You ever seen from the Monsters? The Monsters are on Netflix. The new studio lasts one periscope. <laughs> <laughs> Not even one podcast. I wouldn't even doubt it. That's it, you're good. That's right, we ain't fucking around. G sticks right here. They don't even put a milligram on it. It just says if you're in a wheelchair, tap out now. <laughs> it's over. Oh shit. Just tap out now. Oh, 
know what's doing. <laughs> See, that's why I don't like people rolling other fucking people's joints. Come on, cocksucker. There goes my fingertips. <laughs> and your nose. <laughs> Rafaela Morena. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uncle Joey breaking down the bongos. The police is here. Who cares? The rest of the he's got no police record. Uh, <laughs> Doesn't that mean you should get arrested? Let's, let's, let's build that up. <laughs> what go. acid are you talking about, officer? It's time to smoke another one, I think. What do you think? Should we roll another one? Get those little papers. I got some papers, huh? Oh shit! Can't that shit! Oh yeah, you forgot the remote. <laughs> Wanna roll another one here? Hopefully I got some papers. Right here. Oh, I do got papers. Da 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 <laughs> Yes, for toda caballos. Bam, the bam, and bam, the bam, and bam, bam. Did you hear that noise? Oh shit! Bam, 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 bam. Yes, for caballos. That's gonna burn the cops, family. <laughs> It's a half a dupe. That's like, That's like most people's regular big joints. <laughs> <laughs> it's his half. <laughs> Look at it. That's a regular joint. It's an it's an when this movie came out, I went to see it every fucking day. Every day. Probably. Every day. For the whole summer. It was at the movie theater every day. It was in Spanish Harlem, Sugar Hill. And we went to see it every day. Me, the Dominguez brothers, and some other Irish kids that didn't know Spanish, but they learned. You understand me? At the end of the summer, they Yeah, playing. they knew. And then at the end of the summer, I ended up going to Larry Harlow's house, the piano player. My godmother brought me over there. I almost lost my fucking mind. He gave me a poster, autographed and shit. He was a Jewish guy. Oh, shit. We're going deep now. A little Ana Kaona. That's right, motherfuckers. Our Latin thing, the funny all star. It's even a movie. It's a fucking movie called Our Latin Thing. A bunch of Puerto Ricans jumping up and down at the Cheetah way before Studio 54. That's what the Cheetah became. A lot of people don't know that shit. See, aren't you lucky you have your Uncle Joey here? You can win arguments at Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> See, Flying All Stars live at the Cheetah. We don't fuck around here. We bring you the best in entertainment. Maybe we may put on another album for you tonight. What the fuck? What's up? What the fuck is skinny joint? What do you want, dog? I thought I had more reefer in there. I have to go home. I got another fucking. Isn't there more reefer in there? No. Ana Caona. Speed we'll call Speed Weep. That's right. You got the number? He'll, he'll deliver and get on the podcast with us. He don't give a fuck, Gino. Yeah. This is some bad shit. I can bust it for this shit. No, not sorry. My, my oh, knee is fucked. I'll wiggle. 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 I'll wiggle
You're already better. You're dying. You're already better than me. Watch this. Larry Harlow. Watch. That's a Jew dog playing the piano right there, Larry Harlow. I ain't fucking with Kitchen you. Piano solo? That's him. He's the he's the fucking executive producer of all this. This is a Jewish company. These are Puerto Ricans dressed as Jews. They got three Jews in the band. They got Bobby Blotster, the trump the trombone player, Larry Harlow, and the name of the radio station was Symphony Sid. So he played this music. He did what we do here. He did this, played this music, and it made people go to these shows on Sunday nights. Come on now, though. So wait, so these people would perform every in this movie was like to promote it? Yeah. Oh fuck. This was a movie they thought nobody was gonna show up to. It was sold out. They had to do this in two nights. And they sold out both nights, no just with Symphony fucking Sid. It's called wow. Our Latin Thing, it's on Amazon, it's on fucking Netflix. Anyone still alive? Well, they're all alive. I just fucking emailed Larry Harlow to see if he could call into the show. No way. Yeah, he lives in well a lot of Hector Laveau died. Great, uh, I, I think Willie Colon's still alive. He plays. He still plays the Hollywood Bowl, but he's a jazz musician now. These guys are bad. The guy that owned this company, his name is. Uh, he was an Italian guy that went to Cuba and saw the music, and then went back to New York and became a cop. And he said, "Fuck it, I, I want to play this Cuban music." So he got this Johnny Pacheco, and they started the company, mm-hmm. and they called it Fania. Fania just means Fania. That's it. Oh, okay. And then they had all these different musicians. So they put together the Fonny All-Stars, and they had Celia Cruz, too. Celia Cruz was a Fonny All-Star, too. But she wasn't on this performance in 1973. She showed up in 75 and in Africa. She did Africa with them. They did a tour to Africa? Fuck yeah, for the, for the Muhammad Ali. No way! Uh, Ken Norton or Joe... Frazier. Frazier fight, Joe Frazier fight. It's called Soul Power. It's a documentary called Soul Power. And it's on Showtime from time to time. Ba, ba, da, 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 da. Here we go. Open this motherfucker. Oh, oh shit. I have to call and get more reefer from Speedweed. That's the cops right now. <laughs> da, 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 da. I know he's joking, but it's still getting anxiety. <laughs> oh, 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 don't get anxiety. If the cops come, what are they going to do? We're playing music. We're here with family. We got you motherfuckers. What time is it? What time? 6.39. It's fucking early. In the fucking bag, cocksuckers, with the bag around it. Now, what I want to know is if the fucking sleeve is in here on Bonham's last night. That's what we're going to find out tonight. Go, cocksuckers. Here we go. Here's the big, the final. Oh shit, oh shit, right here. Anybody have a knife, a key? You got a knife leave. You can leave with a knife. <laughs> She's always got carrying hands. You don't know when you're gonna bump into Jesus. <laughs> Stab that motherfucker. Oh, that was the last time I saw you, Becky. Oh my god. Christmas when they were playing that horrible oh. Jesus. <laughs> couldn't take it anymore. We ain't fucking around, people. 
We're going to get to the bottom of this right now. What's going to happen if they don't have the Bon Scott thing? What Bon Scott thing? That's what the coin They better have it in here. This is a fucking tremendous album. This is Led Zeppelin's real last album. Coda was never fucking for me. This album here was after a long layoff. It was the summer of 79 when this album got released. I was just holding on to fucking Dear Lord. This album, I played this album every fucking day. And then one day I was at Moffin Joe's on 76 and Kennedy Boulevard. And I heard the news that John Bonham had died. Now, in here there was supposed to be a fucking sleeve of John Bonham's last night. Oh, shit. There it is. So what you do is... See, you take fucking water with a sponge. You take a sponge with water, and if you put it on here, you can see the lighter, the cigar, the dollar bill from the blow. That's his last night? His last night. This is way before the album came out, dog. See, this is when the night started. That's when the night ended. So that's how the night ended, with a broken glass. So they fucking knew something was going to go down. Wait, this is before he died? This is before he died. Oh, my God. This album came out. It had to be July of 1979. It was Led Zeppelin. I mean, fucking, when this, they did uh, the festival, the, the big festival, and fucking Jimmy Page was so skinny from heroin. It was, it was fucking just amazing to see. But they were stronger than fucking ever. PLJ, the tickets were about to go on sale. And uh, tickets were about to go on sale. And fucking John Bonham died. Let me tell you something. I listened to this fucking album every day from July of 79 to my fucking... This was the album I had on the fucking jukebox when my mom punched the ticket right here. This is as good as it fucking gets. I'm going to put the Fonny All-Star away. This is the first cut. I still remember sit with my dogs in my fucking bedroom, sitting there with your fingers crossed, hoping that this album was good. Hoping that this album was good because you already talked shit. You were talking shit, Led Zeppelin's making a comeback. People were saying they're dead, they're on heroin, he's never gonna recover, Robert Plant's son died, Carrick, now dig this. When Carrick died, people said, there's if you notice, Eric Clapton's son died, and Robert Plant's son died. They said they cut a deal with the devil, and he came back for their fucking sons. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. But I'm going to show you motherfuckers something. Hit it! Get the heroin! They always said that he sacrificed his own son. What do you see there? What is that? What do you see there? Oh so my God. His son died after this house, and they show a guy off with a kid. So Led Zeppelin ain't no fucking joke. Don't make me get the fucking skull out and shit like that. People don't know about this shit I'm dropping on you cocksuckers. Look at that album. That's his son. See, his son died after this fucking album. And they always said this was it. But after that came Presence and fucking... I forget the album that came after Presence. Uh, oh, the, the live one. So we were just fucking... And then uh, Physical Graffiti came out. But Physical Graffiti came out like in 75. So we were all just sitting there waiting for something to come out. And this was the motherfucking monster that came out into the fucking outdoor, baby. And it came in a bag. And you had the fucking sleeve. Again, the beginning of the night and the end of the night. Who the fuck do you guys think you're dealing with? Some fucking novice playing songs on the radio don't know dick about dick. This your Uncle Joey, bitches. I just scared the shit out of Lee. Lee can't fucking believe that I got a dead people. Let's up. Ooh, it's... So wait. 
So you'd be sitting there. What if, like, would you just cheer after every song? Like, we sat there and listened to this whole fucking album with our fucking fingers crossed, praying that this was, this was it. This was gonna save us. This was it. Led Zeppelin was fucking coming back. The winter of 79. They were coming back. It was over. And I was at Moff and Joe Jumper. If you look at... If you look at... The Lucchese family on Wikipedia and look at the Jersey crew. It's run by a guy named Joe Jumper. When I was a kid, I was in Joe Jumper's diner. It was called Moff and Joe's. And I heard on the radio that fucking uh, he had died. And I was I was eating a fucking egg and cheese with Taylor Ham on a fucking Kaiser roll. Oh shit! There's Jimmy dropping it. I heard you eating a subway. There was no subway there, Jack off. <laughs> I only went to Moff and Joe's because that's how it rolled. What do we need? Another fucking roach here? I might have another. We might have to make a run for the house, Lee. Okay. And fucking get some more reefer. Get this party started. I think I got some acid in my wallet. But anyway, we got to get this show started. So I'm happy you tuned in for the music minute here at the Smoker Joint with us and you learned about a little about Led Zeppelin.